Well, uh, Korea's biggest celebration of genre cinema kicked off last week and will run until Sunday and has been delighting audiences with its mix of fantasy, horror, comedy, and much more. Well, the Pucheon International Fantastic Film Festival, or PFAN for short, is now in its 18th year and will hand out its awards as well as screen its closing film later today. However, the festival is still on uh, throughout the weekend, so there is still time to catch some films. And um, film lovers also seem to be very excited about the latest local blockbuster to hit the screens as period action film Kundo, The Age Rampant, opened to enormous numbers this week. Joining us to share his experience at PFAN and perhaps recommend a few films for the remaining days of the event is our film critic, Pierce Conran. Hello there, Pierce. Hi, Kanya. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm good, and I'm, I'm, I see that you are doing well as well at the venue of PFAN. Uh, it sure looked like the uh, stars were out in force for the opening ceremony last week, and the festival has been going on for about a week, and it sure looks like it had a lot in store for us this year. So, first of all, how does it feel to be back at PFAN? Uh, well, it feels great. Uh, you know, Busan is, of course, the biggest festival in Korea. That happens every October. But um, for me, PFAN is very special. It's my, uh, my favorite festival. Uh, it was the first festival I came to when I, uh, when I visited Korea for the first time. It was my third time on the trot, and it's always a really, really great time. Right. Um, you know, I was able to get a glimpse of uh, the opening ceremony last week, and like I said, it was definitely a star-studded event. Did you get to uh, catch a glimpse of that as well? Absolutely. So, yes, the opening ceremony took place uh, last Thursday. And uh, there was the opening film was a German film called uh, Stereo, but uh, the big focus, of course, was all the big stars that hit the hit the red carpet. So every year, what PFAN does is they they give some special awards to some big stars. So there's the Producers Award, which is um, given by the Korean Film Producers Association. And this year, the recipients were Hyunbin, who just returned from his military service, and he was in the Fatal Encounter earlier this year, and Son Yejin, who will next be seen in The Pirates, which is out in uh, two, about two weeks' time. Also, there was kind of the, there's the Buchan Award, which is kind of an audience award for younger stars. And those were given to Kim Woo Bin and Shi Moon Kyung, who was also serving as the P-Fan Lady this year. And then kind of the Rising Star Award went to Cho Jin-Ung, who played the villain in um, A Hard Day. So uh, they were all there to accept their awards, and they were joined by a number of other very special guests. Well, uh, Pierce, you know, this unique uh, film festival takes place just nearby Seoul in Gyeonggi-do province. And I remember you telling me that uh, PFAN is just the right place to beat the summer heat as it presents the best in genre cinema for those hungry cinephiles. Now, first, for those of us who are not too familiar with it, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So along with uh, the Busan and Jeonju International Film Festivals, it's one of the, one of this trifecta of big festivals in Korea. And it's also considered the biggest fantastic film festival in Asia. A fantastic film festival is one that focuses on genre cinema. So as you say, thrillers, horrors, sometimes some romantic comedies, fantasy, and lots of kind of more special stuff like that. Um, so there's really something for everyone in this kind of festival. And PFAN really has an enormous amount of, it's a very dynamic festival. It also has a project market, so a lot of special guests who come from around the world. And um, there's, a, there's loads of sidebar events, so there really is something for everyone that, uh, that enjoys film. Well, uh, what would you say are some of the things that you were most looking forward to at this year's uh, PFAN? Well, as with every year, there's always so much I want to see and so little time to see everything. So, um, of course, uh, I have to kind of uh, try and choose wisely, but uh, there were a lot of films I was excited for. The competition section, which is called Pucheon Choice, a lot of, had a, a lot of interesting films, um, including there was a digital thriller, Open Windows, uh, the Australian horror, The Babadook, which if anyone is a fan of horror, should absolutely watch this. It was absolutely terrifying. I was watching it through my fingers the whole time. Um, so that's a great one. There's also some showcases. There's a retrospective of Godzilla films. It's his 60th anniversary as a character. There's Latin American genre cinema and also a showcase of the uh, kind of Italian erotic filmmaker Tinto Brass. Those are quite special, but also a really good time at a festival like this. Well, you know, if you found uh, that film, uh, you know, scary, I don't think I will be able to check it out. But um, uh, like you mentioned, film festivals tend to have very sidebar events such as uh, content markets and the like. Uh, what about PFAN? What goes on beyond the films? Well, the big thing that happens besides PFAN is a, an industry market called NAV. 
half. And that's the network of Asian fantastic films. And what that, that is is a project market. So you have this year, we had 27 projects were invited to kind of a pitch their new works. So you'd have a filmmaker, maybe a producer there as well. And they would talk about these films they want to make. And they'd be, uh, the people that they would be talking to are uh, distribution people, production people from around the world. So there's many, many guests. There were something like 500 meetings took place. And um, six of those were a special spotlight on Thai cinema. So uh, previous films that have been in this market include last year's A Terror Live. So these films really be can become very big blockbusters. So it handed this um, close on Wednesday. It handed out its awards, and hopefully we'll see some of those new projects on the screen in the coming years. Well, you know, um, like I said, uh, what about for for those of us who are not too much into gore or scary films? I mean, is PFAN still a good destination for those of us who are, you know, um, chickens? I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, there is plenty of horror cinema, and there's some very special gory cinema, but there's loads of other things as well. There's a lot of kind of a uh, Films that are more fantastical. There are rom coms that have kind of special fantasy elements. There's also a special section of animation called Anifanta. And um, anyone that wants to have kind of a good time, you can come. There's uh, various events and parties. There's kind of cosplay. Things going on, kind of, you know, uh, costume dress up events. And so there's really a bit of everything. Also, some classic films and a lot of, you know, mild stuff as well. It's not just crazy things going on here. Well, um, definitely, um, it seems like there is something for everybody, um, including myself, so I might really go check it out this weekend. But, uh, Piers, uh, I want to talk about one film that's just been sweeping across the cinemas here in Korea, and it's uh, Kundo, Age of the Rampant. It, it opened this week, and uh, I'm sure you're aware um, it's doing very, very well. What do you make of its success? Uh, indeed, it's been an absolute... Absolutely huge film. It, uh, it opened on Wednesday. It had 550,000 admissions, which is actually an opening day record, beating the record uh, that had been held by Transformers 3 since 2011. Now, I'm not all that surprised. It has big names, Ha Jong Woo and Kang Dong Wan. It's, uh, you know, it's a very appealing film with lots of comedy and action and period spectacle. And now, you know, following what has been a relatively slow year for Korean films. Uh, this is kind of a, this comes as a, a big boost for the industry. So I think everyone's happy to see it do so well. And I imagine it'll go do very well into the weekend. I think it's poised to have an enormous debut, and perhaps it'll have set a new record for opening weekend. Well, I know that um, you know you have been talking about this film for quite some time. I, I think you first mentioned of this film earlier this year, and you know told us all that this is one that we should be on the lookout for, and it looks like you know that was right. Well, Piers, uh, thanks for, and for another very powerful real talk session, and uh, we look forward to having you back in the studio next Friday. That was our film critic Piers Conran live from the Puchon International Fantastic Film Festival. Thank you, Piers.